What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Chase on Two Wheels video. Today my plans got cancelled so I'm gonna take advantage and accessorize my new ADV bike. If you guys aren't familiar, let me show you. This beautiful SOB right here is my brand new 2023 CF Moto Ibex 800. This is the T model, which gives you all the fancy extra bits. Now, on the last episode of us doing this Ibex build, you guys know I'm turning this into like an off-road ADV bike. But in the last episode, what we did, these beautiful and not cheap hard cases and comfortable, and comfortable we tested it today, grabbing another <laughs> loaner bike. We'll talk about that another day. We installed the bags. By the way, they've been amazing. They're a little expensive, but they are supreme quality. Very impressed with those. Now, we have, you see all these boxes? Look at all these boxes. Those are all CF Moto accessories that they offer for this motorcycle. And they were kind enough to send it all to us. So. What most of that stuff is, if I understand correctly, is to help the motorcycle when it gets to its inevitable stage of, it's an ADV bike. Bo, have you ever dropped your tiger? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, with ADV bikes, look, they're expensive, but they are going to hit the ground. The majority of these are extra protection to go on top of the motorcycle. Now, one of the really cool things that the Ibex has stock Grab me a little chair. Now, one of the cool things that has stock is these uh, safety rails already kind of guarding the protection up front. There's even more stuff, including a really cool like guard up here. So we're going to get these and things unboxed. I don't even if I'm going to be real honest with you guys, I have forgotten everything that they sent me. So we're going to get this pile of not the exhaust. Not yet. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Couldn't imagine who sent that out. Um, okay, so we're gonna get this stuff unboxed. We're gonna show you guys what it is and then we're gonna get it installed today. Should be a pretty exciting day and I have to worry about the motorcycle even less after today. Mm -hmm. It should be fun. Let's get to it. Look at the headlight, the way it comes in the box. Bro, I'm gonna be able to drive through a tree. We have non-bike specific stuff. <laughs> I thought, so I'm looking at all these boxes like, what is that big? So we have hoodie. Hoodie, finally, since Bo stole the last one, I got this one. I got another one of these shirts now. How are you? I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Wait, I didn't tell you about this? No! Whoops. You got to start communicating more! <laughs> Alright, ready? Wait. Three, there's, two, there's plastic. <laughs> one. There's plastic on it. Ha 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 ha! helmets! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, this is Bo's like whole color for his oh. bike thing with the whole neon shit, so. <laughs> Look at me! Okay, people don't care about this. Back to park. Shut up, I care. CF Moto, thank you for all the goodies and the extras. I didn't expect all that. And we love you guys long time. Hey, I know, here's what I can do since the last episode. Oh no, what am I gonna do with all my extra stuff? Man, Chase, that's a lot of stuff to carry on a motorcycle. No, it's not. <laughs> Guys, look at all of the carnage back here. 
goodness gracious. Okay, uh, we gotta figure out what to install first. Actually, I will say, one of the things we won't be installing today are the tank grips. They're gonna get installed, just not today, and I can't tell you guys why. Just trust me. So, uh, we need to figure out what we're working with, and then we can come up with a plan for like what to install first. Look through all the stuff we have and it seems like the most pain in the butt piece is going to be this radiator guard mostly because there's a center like protecting bar that's in front of the radiator for obvious reasons so we've got to remove that which honestly seems like the most uninstall we're gonna to have to do to get something installed so uh, we're gonna get this going first see this grill level like we can probably put this on top of a fire and like grill steaks with it most of these are, are mesh this is <laughs> yeah. this is like laser cut so, aluminium aluminium guys uh radiator guard is installed next up is probably the more complicated piece and that's going to be that heavy duty uh headlight guard so we're going to get unboxed real quick looks like there's some bolts underneath we got to remove but this thing looks hefty super excited to get it out <laughs> bo's over here laughing already so we're going to get it installed next <laughs> ready for battle King. look how freaking hefty this is bro like rocks that get kicked up, it's like LOL stacks. Guys, uh, Having flashbacks. <laughs> I'm trying to think of even how to describe to you guys. Uh, so we had a really hard time getting this guy to thread in. We ended up loosening both the crash bars because that bolt threads through basically this whole rod. A lot of trouble to get that in and I don't recommend doing it, but we grabbed a baby impact gun and just pressed up into it and eventually we got it to bite. Shouldn't have done that, but it worked, so we're just going to move on uh, and tighten everything back down, and that should be good. Oh, yeah, we also had to remove the that middle black bar. That helped to give us some rigidity. Listened. Whew. Sheesh. Alrighty guys, uh, that is complete. Now we're moving on to the engine guards. Uh, these are going to protect, addedly protect the side of the bike, yep. even though it already has those guards. These are just additionals on top. More garden. More garden. Yay, fruit or vegetable or whatever you want to grow. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're adding this plate to this back area here. Bolt washer plate. All right, guys, so we got the engine guard on this side. Um, see if Moto kind of went with an interesting way to do this. There's a bolt that goes here into a rubber piece, and that rubber piece is like bar ends where you just like tighten it and it squishes out. So instead of going with a bolt that goes all the way through, they did the bar end approach, which 
like is solid and I guess will allow for impact absorption through rubber. But when you tighten them, they kind of push out a little bit. If you guys can see that little area. We tried multiple times pushing it in and out and it kind of just like chills like that. All right, so interesting uh, turn of events. Bo's lower one is uh, pretty stable pretty in there. Yeah. But the top one, I mean, that's... I mean, it, look, at the end of the day, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. But it's just interesting. Yeah. All right. Next thing. Guys, we got good news and bad news. <laughs> or strange news. Good news. Oh, uh, we got the engine guards on. We got the light guards on. And now everything else is kind of piddly little stuff. Now, we've had the camera off for quite a while. And, uh... Bo and I have circumnavigated the shop multiple times each. We've laid on the ground. For the life of us, we have no idea where this guy is. <laughs> this one is the same as these, and it is the only one we're missing. We've moved bikes. We've l literally, like, laid on the ground. Look, I'll even, I'll even show you guys what we see. All right. All right, you guys are with me. This is what we're looking at. All right, you guys see anything over there? Nothing. We've opened, oh, look at that. We even cleared out all the boxes that were over there. We've looked everywhere. I'm tired of laying on the ground. So uh, we're gonna move on with all the other piddly stuff left. Uh, it's actually cool if you just lay on the ground, but I don't know if you've tried that. Yeah, it is nice and cool, so it's like not incredibly uncomfortable. Um, okay, we're just gonna keep installing piddly stuff now. Other other protection. We even moved the bike. We've checked in little crevice. I got no idea. Let us know where we should have looked, and we'll let you know in the comments. Uh, we'll comment down there if we ever found it. It's not looking good though. All right, Bo, you ready to keep going? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's find out what the next thing is. Whoo, a little, little lightheaded. What's up? Oh, oh, oh. I told you. Whoa. What a beefy boy. Bro. That. That is a substantial piece of metal. We don't have instructions for you. So those are clearly the guards for those. I mean, do they just friction on? I'm pretty sure that's you. Do you have like a square bracket thing? All right, guys, uh, got mine on. Uh, you just tighten it on and it kind of just pops on like that. Uh, found out if you put that screw on first, then you just kind of place it on and get it tightened down. That's the maneuver. Maneuver. And now, nice when the inevitable rock goes, it'll go ding, and it won't break the light. Nice. Very cool. Moving on. All right, next up we have <laughs> Jesus Christ. I ain't fucking around. Dude, all right. So these are for your brakes. Look at that. Dude, that looks cool. So we just pop these uh, bolts out, pop this on. <laughs> My friends, look, protection. Pro protection. Substantial protection. Substantial protection, oh my God. Always use protection. All right, what's next? Let's do the uh, reservoir protection. Wow, you sounded a little redneck in there. I'm do reservoir protection. Nice. You're adding like 90 pounds of metal. Ha! <laughs> Not as much as, um... Okay. Remove the rear reservoir bolt. <laughs> oh, no. You talking about this little guy? Okay. Sorry, guys. Didn't record that one. It was literally one bolt. But it did change it from a 5 to a 4. Protection. 
there's two. There's one for the nugs. The front is yeah. one of the cases. Yeah. Is it a different style or did they just happen to send two? I think they just happened to send two. So we have a backup, I guess. Cool, so fuck that one up. All right, so we can really damage this thing. Perfect. All right. Uh, I don't think we do the handlebar risers yet. I think we need to hold off on those because I don't know how those, the ones I have feel off-road. You know what I mean? We'll find out after we go off-road. Um, <laughs> All right, time for the Kerchuckins. Yeah. Those are some beefy boys. That's really clever. Both found out something cool. So, they have all these mounts right here, these holes. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's nuts on the inside. So you can just move it over and make this wider. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty nifty. Should we extend them now? Or... And do you want to extend them? Because they're, they're going to be about the same width as they currently are, just a bit longer here. Right. So just same out but a little fatter. Well, they, fatter. Yeah, they're definitely fatter all the way around so yeah. it looks like this is the right side all right i think i'll keep it like that because i don't want to mess up lean potential for road use mm -hmm. Alright guys, terrible back on one two feet. Uh these are installed. <laughs> Definitely got the two feet. Alright, they are Hell yeah. And if I need to adjust them, I can later on. I'm gonna wait though. Those are pretty subtle, you don't even notice it. Next up, we have kickstand extender which is really helpful because i don't know if you guys obviously you can't tell right now well, we have it on the center the, stand this is just the kickstand foot extender that's what i'm saying it makes it wider but it's the thing kickstand yeah kickstand our extender is like... an issue we have right now is the bike when on its kickstand sits over a little far uh and i can show you guys later in the video but I'm hoping the little bit from the, the base extender helps. So we're gonna get that installed. That'll help the bike when we have it over on the kickstand in like a soft ground environment. This will help out a lot. I mean, I think it's literally just three bolts, so. Yeah. It helps a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I like the uh, I like the wider stance on the foot on the kickstand though. That is that's pretty nice. All right. Um, is that all she wrote? Is that all? Of, I, I know we have the the extenders, but I think that's it, right? <laughs> Guys, come with me before I show you. I was over here dumping footage, right? You guys can see we got a lot of shit going on. And I was like, hmm, there's a set of Dunlop tires over there for the R6. I wonder. I looked behind them and I found it! <laughs> You're, you get to do the honors, bud. We actually found the cap. And that's no cap. She is done. Yay, ADV! All right, now it is raining, but I'm doing outside rain B-roll because there's just not enough space in here. Oh my God, I almost fell into the I mean, before seats. we do anything. What? I have to see it. You have to see what? Have the key in there? You have, what do you have to see? <laughs> oh, you, okay, so Bo was saying he wants to know with the grill, and the baby grills. What is the, all right, turn the lights off. Let's see. All right. Going dark. 
Mm -hmm. oh. It's kind of a cool look right here. God, that bike looks so fucking cool when you turn yeah. it on. Really see. Let's uh let's let's move this. We're definitely gonna have to turn it on. Right. Um your fog light switch? Yep. Oh still looks cool. It's not horrible. Oh that's not bad. You see a little bit, but not bad. Dude, that's not bad at all. All right, let's get her outside for a cool montage. Montage. All right, my friends, that is it for installing every single accessory that CF Moto makes for the Ibex 800 Model T or T model not the old car but like the new the new bike all right if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more ADV bros content on the next episode we got a couple directions we can go we can do the exhaust we can do the aftermarket accessories or we can go for a ride Let us know what we should do in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for getting to the end of this video. Put OC in your comments. It stands for Outro Crew because we love you guys longer. If you guys want to win a motorcycle, you can win that R6. What else? Check out whatever video we end up putting at the end of this video. There's a cool video that you should check out here. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Also, thank you CF Moto for all of these cool accessories. I can't wait to put them to use. Which actually means I can't wait for the bike to fall over. But... Mm.